Porgy and Bess is a classic American opera written by George Gershwin and first performed in the 1930s. The story centers around a rundown African American community during Depression era in the USA. South Africa's opera company has toured half a dozen different countries, performing Porgy and Bess to packed houses. But when they chose to open Israel's opera season with the crowd pleaser, they were urged by prominent figures comparing Israel to former apartheid South Africa to cancel. I think it's important to separate uh, arts from politics. Arts deals with the human side of things and expresses through music what we feel. And as an arts company, it's important for me to remain apolitical around these issues. William says he decided to carry on with plans. That decision resulted in a flood of hate mail, menacing phone calls, and even threats. A strong believer in dialogue, he talked to company members, offering them the option of backing out of the Israel trip. Not one took him up on the offer. As this principle explains, singers were partially influenced by commitment to art, but also by cold calculation. These artists that are on stage right now are most of them ad hoc, so they're freelancers. You take away this tour, it basically means that's their money for the next three months, gone. And they've got families, they've got responsibilities. Despite the storyline's bleak undertones of poverty, drug addiction, and unrequited love, all 14 Israel performances sold out. The show goes on, and thousands upon thousands of Israelis will experience this unique rendition of Porgy and Bess, set by the company's stage director in 1970s apartheid South Africa. The South African Opera Company's performances in Tel Aviv are ultimately about fulfilling commitments, a cultural exchange, and paying salaries. For CCTV, this is Stephanie Freed in Tel Aviv.